and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Demir Affinity Forge. That's right, we're bringing back our Affinity Forge deck. Bringing Affinity to standard. This deck has been maybe my favorite deck to play in, um, in standard so far this season. And as you can tell here, if you're somebody who's uh, seen me play this deck a few times now, we're switching up a few things in this deck. So first of all, um, we had we had like more Sahilis in the deck before, more Sahilis and Chromatic Lanterns. Like basically we'd have like three Lanterns or Scuttle Mutts and three Sahili. So with, instead of those, for those slots, I'm bringing in a couple of Karn the Great Creators now. Um, I hadn't been playing Karn before. Um, I didn't want to use like the sideboard slots for artifacts, but with Field of the Dead being banned, we don't need to really have a whole bunch of Ashioks and Unmoored Egos in the sideboard. And so we get more sideboard slots for artifacts. So we'll talk about the sideboard here real quick. So we got Wishclaw Talisman that we can grab with Karn. Um, this card works just so well with Karn. Not only do we get to go find what, you know, just be a demonic tutor, whatever card that we need, we can go put it into our hand. We give the opponent the Wishclaw Talisman, but it is an artifact. And Karn says that art activated abilities of artifacts can't be activated from your opponent. So they can't actually activate the Talisman when we have the Karn in play. So that works pretty well. Um, then we got, you know, s some more Spyglasses in the board. Uh, we got we got Spyglasses in the main deck now also. We didn't have those before. Because Spyglass is just a, a really good card against these Oko decks. And Oko, of course, we're an artifact deck, so Oko is a problem. And so I want main deck Spyglass plus more in the sideboard with Karn. Uh, we're putting our third Golos over in the sideboard because um, if we have, you know, five lands, we can play Karn on four and then minus go grab Golos and then play and then the next turn, play our fifth land, play Golos, ramp with Golos and have Golos be a good blocker and everything like that. And then some top end stuff, a Citadel, which is an artifact, a God Pharaoh statue and a Meteor Golem. Um, so yeah, we got, we got those <clears throat> over in the sideboard. Uh, but besides that other changes, like I said, we, we have spy glasses in the main deck. I'm putting a ritual of soot in the main deck. Also, we didn't have a sweeper over there in the main. And we, we still are playing two field of the dead because it is legal for today. Tomorrow it will be banned. Um, it, but it's still legal for today. So we got two of those. And then I also kind of added, added in some extra lands, like, I didn't have a, a black castle over here before, um, so I put one of those in, got rid of a watery grave, also put in a mobile, or no, we had that, I put in a Karn's Bastion, we didn't have a Karn's Bastion before, but now we have that that can do some proliferating on our Planeswalkers or our Stone Coil Serpents or Steel Overseer putting counters on creatures. So, so did some extra stuff there, basically kind of went away from Sahili because Sahili wasn't looking the best the last couple of times we played it, even even though it you know can make blockers for Steel Overseer and everything like that, and, and kind of going uh, with some different options instead. All right, so that's kind of like the new stuff. I guess I'll do a quick little breakdown of the deck if you don't know what we're trying to do here. Basically, we're trying to get Mystic Forge in play so that we can play the top card of our library if it's an artifact card or a colorless non-land card. And then also get Ugin in play, where all of our colorless spells cost two less to cast. Because whenever Ugin's in play, all of these cards from this this row, the first two rows here, they're all free. Because if it costs two less to cast, well, it's Spyglass is free. Guild Globe, Golden Egg, Steel Overs here, they're all free. Stone Coil Serpent, we can even play for for free for just, you know, X is two with Ugin. So, like, our cards are free. We can play them off the top. So we can just start playing a whole bunch of cards off the top for free. That's that's like kind of what we do here. Then if we have Tezzeret in play, also our creature and our Planeswalker spells have affinity for artifacts. That's our affinity part. So they cost one less to cast for each artifact that we control. So if we control two artifacts, Steel Overseer is free, or we can play this for free um, for two. If we control four artifacts, Karn is free. If we control five artifacts, Golos is free. If we control six artifacts, Ugin is free. And so we can just start playing all sorts of stuff for free with the combination of Tezzeret, Ugin, and Mystic Forge. And it's all really cool. It's really fun to do. Um, and then, of course, we, we usually kill our opponent like with the plus two with Tezzeret, doing a whole bunch of damage there. Um, also, these things can get uh, do a lot of damage, but these are usually our early blockers, especially Stone Coil Serpent. All right, let's go ahead and give this, give this a try. Let's play some Demir Affinity Forge. This deck is sweet. 
Yeah, this deck would do just fine without field. Yeah, this does not have to be a field of the dead deck, honestly. It's just it's just better to have field than not have field, but it's not that big of a deal. Hmm. Well, we need two lands. Okay, we got two lands. All right, we're going to put back one of these six mana Planeswalkers, and I guess it's going to be Tezzy. All right, so flash decks have been a problem for us. Okay, so this is just a whole bunch of flyers. Still a problem for us because they're going to be a really fast clock. Um, what could my opponent possibly play? Spe oh, we'll just name Spectral Sailor. So I hope we draw our one of Ritual of Soot, or I hope we draw Stone Coil Serpents. Yeah, Voracious Hydra for your sideboard in a Simic deck would... Ugh, no Stone Coil Serpent there. You'd want it against other creature decks, where you want it like as a removal spell. Yeah, but even though you already have Wicked Wolf, uh, it's good to have more. Lantern lets us activate Golos. Hmm. So I was going to be able to go Chromatic Lantern plus cast Gil Globe. That was all I was going to be able to do this turn, but that's going to kill us. All right, bring in these extra Ritual of Sets. Cut these things. Bring these in. Um, creatures on the ground. So Emery is kind of weird. If I want to get rid of Emery or not. Maybe get rid of Karn. Yeah, we really don't need to like grab any of this stuff out of our sideboard, honestly. Let's get rid of Karn. Keep Emery. Emery does get Ritual of Sitted away, but Emery can recast Stone Coil Serpents for us. Oh, wait. I should probably be playing this card. Yeah. I don't know why I overlooked that card. Probably be playing that one. <clears throat> yeah, maybe I should have just played the played this deck without Legion's End. Even if the deck's a little bit better with Legion's End, just so I'd want to I'd want to completely redo the mana base without. Le Without, or sorry, sorry, I'm so, I'm I meant to be saying Field of the Dead. I'm sorry, we were just I was just thinking of Legion's End, with without Field of the Dead. Even though the deck would be a little a little worse without Field of the Dead, but the fact that it's being banned tomorrow, um, mana base basically doesn't need to have so many different like one ofs and stuff and and everything without Field of the Dead. That is very good for me. I don't target my opponent with anything.
<clears throat> yeah, have a hut. Actually, if you check out the Yuba YouTube channel, sorry, check out the YouTube channel. Look for Esper Alela. I did, I did play basically the same deck, but made it Esper and had Alela in it. So yeah, if you want to see see the deck with Alela, and Alela was was pretty good. I would say that the biggest thing that Esper gave us was Kaya's Wrath. That was like the most important thing. But, but yeah, check it out. Over there. I'm glad I didn't play Stone Coral Serpent to get countered. But basically it'd be worth it to wait on Serpent until we have more mana. We're of course gonna go get Blast Zone. Looks like my opponent is not doing, they're not having a great day of drawing white mana. More Blast Zone value. I'm probably just going to activate Golos next turn. I could have activated it this turn, but I, I like being able to play a land after activating Golos. I mean, if they draw white mana and slam Safara, we could Noxious Grasp Safara and still. Safara doesn't make Safara indestructible. But yeah, if they would slam Safara and have counter magic, then that would be annoying. <clears throat> Alright, game three. <laughs> yeah, spark double Sa Safara. Indestructible. And then they play Teferi. Or they play Oko. And your Safaris turn into a 3-3. Three, three. Elk. Oh. Or they bounce it. <laughs> yeah. We don't have a ton of interaction there in game one, Smoif. Game one's kind of tough. And so hopefully this version... I don't know. We got the spy glasses in here and stuff. I, I think that the three mana cards were kind of the weak spot. Uh, Sahili and the Chromatic Lanterns. Uh, that was not a good card to draw. Yeah, so for for this deck, for changing field, basically the, the whole mana base would completely change. You don't need to have a whole lot of weird one ofs and everything for Field of the Dead. So on, honestly, you just want to change the entire mana base, um, and I just I just didn't really do that. But you know, you can make it like a a whole you know easy much easier blue black. You can play a whole lot more basics and things like that. Like where you don't don't need to play a bunch of weird lands. Even a light breeze. 
The sky is my domain. I'm glad I didn't wait to try to Legion's End the token, even though, like, the, you know, the token is, you know, technically we only got rid of three power instead of getting rid of four power with the token. But if I would have waited, they would have probably countered it with Hypnotic Sprite, or they're just not going to keep that available there. Okay, good. So Stone Coil as a 5-5 next turn. I wouldn't really mind if they played the Imperion Eagle and let us, you know, give us something to Noxious Grasp here. I wouldn't really mind that. They don't seem to be playing too much white mana, though. I don't seem to be playing too much white mana. Do not challenge a raging river. Okay, so we're going to play the 5-5. Five five. Hoping they don't have any kind of bounce spell. Oh, I should I should have just cracked the golden egg there and just gained 3 life, honestly. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's good to have that out here because of Tez. Now you draw the white mana? Could it knock just grasp that last turn? Quell your temper. Yeah, I should get wild cards back. For Field of the Dead. That's gross. That's really gross. Ugh, that's really gross. Ride the winds to victory. Okay. Well, they didn't didn't kill Ugin. So what can we do? We have to Noxious Grasp the Eagle to start with, but then they still have four, five, six, seven, eight power. I can crack two golden eggs also. Secrets manifest before. Which means I don't get to play Mystic Forge if I need to crack two golden eggs to stay alive. But then, how do we really stay alive the next turn after that? Can I hit anything? What can I hit off of Mystic Forge? I mean, I guess I could hit more Stone Coil Serpents. 
guess that's what I need to do. Hmm. You can't play, you can only play colorless cards off of Mystic Forge. Gosh, I wish, I really wish I could play this Mystic Forge. It's just too risky. This is just much much safer line to at least untap. That's kind of the thing is we're only just untapping there. Do not challenge a raging river. that dungeon geist. I need to gain one life. I mean, I can, I can Ugin kill the 4-4, four, four, Noxious Grasp the 1-1, one, one, and I go to 3, but then dungeon geist does 3 damage to me. I guess this is my only real option right now. Perfect. Stone Coil Serpent's good. I guess that doesn't save me yet. Gets me closer, though. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. I guess it does... It does save me, right? Yeah. Presence alone will guide you towards victory. I shall be gone, interloper. Come on. I was gonna, uh, the next turn, man, if we would have had one more turn, cause then Tezzeret would have actually been good. What, what would have happened if I would have done that? Was it another Stone Coral Serpent? No, it wasn't. Uh, we needed one life. We needed one life. That was so close. That was so close. Because one life, because then, you know, next turn, whenever we untap with Tezzeret and have the Tezzeret's ability, we get to drain a whole lot. And then we would have had the, the uh, other, you know, like the Stone Coral Serpent would have untapped and everything and would have been able to play a bunch of stuff. If my opponent had. Even just like a flying creature, you know, like if they just had a flying creature there for their draw step, but not one that pumped their team. So even if they played flying creature plus, you know, get another 4-4 with Mu Yan links, you know, they would have played two other flyers. Even if they would have done that, I think we had that pretty easily. 
Oh well. Yeah, so I couldn't play Tezzeret the previous turn, though, because Tezzeret only does um, artifact. You know, only only matters with how many artifacts you have in play. So not like the colorless permanence that Ugin was making or anything. Anyway, yeah, Demira Trata went pretty well. I hope we don't lose this match. <laughs> no offense about it. I hope we don't, though. Uh, I really thought that we were going to win that last that last one, though. Whenever, you know, whenever we actually got to survive that turn. <clears throat> I thought we were going to win. So they can put artifacts into my graveyard with the gargoyle, and then we recast them with Emery. That's a good, it's a good combo. And we'll be able to make this Stone Coral Serpent a six-six this turn. Tezzeret does not cost less. Like, Tezzeret costs six mana to cast. Once Tezzeret's on the battlefield, then your Planeswalkers and everything have affinity. That, that's not something that... That's not a, a clause while it's in your hand. that makes sense so yeah i couldn't i still would have to i still had to spend six mana for tez and the center planer beacon yeah same inverse i kind of wish that the gargoyle was a little bit more playable I guess I go grab Bola Citadel with Karn. Oh, I should probably replay that thing. Well, Gargoyle can't block. They don't have four cards in hand. So we're going to attack for 18.
Let me out. Hey noob, uh, the cauldron deck did not do very well. No, that one, that one did not do very well. It's a tough life for trying to play cauldron right now. We, uh, we had two opponents that drew really, really well and just, you know, just beat us. And then our third opponent, we played a close, uh, a close three game set, but they, they got us. Yeah, the deck, the decks. The deck has um, has a lot of good things going for it, but or I don't know if that's the correct saying. The deck has a lot of powerful cards in it. There we go, a lot of powerful cards in it. But we were not our opponents were not stumbling whatsoever. They just had like just great curve outs like every single uh, game kind of thing. So basically, I don't really want these spy glasses, and I guess I'll play some Legion's Ends instead, I guess. And I don't really care for Legion's End either. We'll just do that. Golgari Troll is really good. Yeah, like that, that deck's pretty good. Um, we've played it in... The last couple of times we played it, we played it in ranked and done really well with it. We've we've always done well with the deck. Like 4-2. We've always gone like 4-2, 5-1. Uh, every time we've played the deck, it's there's just a lot of good cards in it. More magic mirror. Yeah, I need to need to redo the the magic mirror deck. It, how I had that build did not work. The troll is not... Okay, yeah, you want an infinite card draw engine in, in Esper. The, I would not recommend... Um, maybe it's better to play Emery, actually. No, troll's not a good option there because if if you're not pressuring your opponent's life total, they won't they won't let you just gain three life draw a card. They'll just take eight kind of thing. No, I, I would not play troll there. Honestly, the card you may be looking for, Ripper, is is Dovin. I think that's the card that you're looking for. It's not as good as Teferi because it costs one more. The six mana Dovin. I don't. I don't remember the name of it, but the six mana Dovin. So Dovin, I think Architect of Law. I think. I think that's it. Hmm, also I just want to play this thing. Yeah, that one. Well, I mean, if you want a, a card draw engine, Dovin is plus one. You know, gain two life, draw a card. So instead of instead of unto, untap two lands, draw a card, you get to gain two life, draw a card. And then the minus one is, you know, tap a creature, it doesn't untap. So, like, it's, it's some decent removal there for the minus one.
No, Dawn of Hope you have to like spend a lot of mana on to try to and everything and the planeswalker is just a, a good six mana investment that you play like the one time and then you get like your different options after that perfect drew the land By the design, bathe in ghost fire. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, Ugin could be better than the Grand Arbiter, but Ugin, you don't get just get the cards immediately. You know, you, you make two twos, so. Um, you know, and, and also, like, in a control deck, gaining life, like, that's not... That's not nothing, being able to gain life. That's a... <clears throat> that's a bonus, for sure. So gaining two life a turn, you know, it's like, basically, you get your great henge. Ether itself serves me. Hmm. So we got the two blockers. I'm hoping that's good enough. I could have, I could have played it a little safer. Played the other Ugin. Saying good game. I guess that means I lose. Truth Ugh, I like to have those Mystic Forges. Division. I am ancient and wise. Heed my advice. I, my plan. Fairy formation. Tazaret. Tazaret, awesome. I assume I have five. Yeah. I say I assume I have five of these things, or yeah, you know, we just get. With Tezzeret, we get free Golos. Everybody likes free Golos. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm never gonna use Blast Zone. It's dismal Backwater. Gain a life. Secrets manifest before you. Zap. This should strike fear into you. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is... I think they were saying good game because they knew that we were going to win because this game's over. Think I should have attacked? Yeah, they had they had basically had nothing else. Yeah, that's that's very true. Games of Standard will end faster with Field of the Dead Band. That's for sure. All right, picked up a win. Am I still streaming? Are y'all still seeing this? Are y'all still here? This Streamlabs OBS thing, it froze. And all I see is this thing that says, your stream recording session is still running in the background. Whenever you're ready, click the okay button below to end your stream slash recording and relaunch the application. It's said it like crashed basically. So I, I hope this recording still works for YouTube. Like I hope it'll actually like not be a, a crashed thing. You just close it like I don't I mean but my yeah yeah I'm not gonna click OK I'm not gonna just close it because I feel like closing it is is like clicking OK I'm just gonna keep it up over there because I don't I don't want like the recording for YouTube messed up. Yeah, it was whenever, it's whenever I tried to, whenever I clicked the, whenever I clicked whatever to try to uh, change the record, I couldn't change the record. Like, whenever I tried clicking that thing, it, like, kind of froze and then reset here. Hey, PGNR. So, I can't change the record over here. I can't change, um, the sub goal thing either. That was up number 23. How's the match against Simic Ramp? Um, I don't know. I mean, Oko, Oko is, you know, obviously incredibly good and really hard to beat. But besides that... Um, may not be uh, too bad. I am not going to sit this one out. Let's try this. Hmm. 
Hmm. So this is Jess guy, huh? Should have seen that coming. Until you have lived as a step or fencer. Honestly, maybe Bolas of Citadel is a better card to grab here. Against Just Guy. I kind of wanted just to play a 1-1 one, one Serpent, honestly. You know, so it's basically, I, so basically, like, I was going to be playing the Karn. So it's basically either put, but, you know, because I didn't want to, like, put just tons of creatures out here because of Sweeper. But it's either, like, put one counter on the Steel Overseer or get a 1-1 one, one Serpent into play. But those are my options there. I'm known for my excellent timing. I've done the hero thing before. Would either guess is a dead card. Would they get drawn from dreams though? So should I name like Narset, Sarkin, or Chandra? One of those, Narset, Sarkin, or Chandra. All right, we'll do Sarkin. I could do another one right now, or I could go grab Meteor Golem for next turn. Or I go grab this Bull of Citadel. Maybe I should Wishclaw Talisman them. That's how it was meant to happen. I don't think they're going to be killing my Karn. Who knows? See what they do here. So Talisman can get me Ugin. Oh, they're Cavalier of Gales? They're the Cavalier version, not Planeswalker version. Well, I made a big mistake. Yeah, it wasn't that big of a mistake. We'll figure it out. What's up, Stone Coral Serpent? So 
So you either have like Ugin kill Cavalier. It probably should have just been Bolas of Citadel, honestly. Not Talisman. Yeah, I should have just grabbed Citadel. Yeah, Citadel is just much more powerful. So I guess they're gonna want to play. They're just planning on playing a sweeper here. Well, they they my opponent can't activate talisman if I have Karn in play. Also, The problem is I want to minus two this car, and that's the problem. So I could go like go grab Meteor Golem and destroy this Fires of Invention with it. Obviously, I could just destroy it with Ugin though. Also, I think that's what I'm gonna do. We're going to, yeah. Yeah, of course, we're just going to be blocking with the Spyglass. We don't need it. I don't think they're playing Sarkin. That's a good, good card to draw. Okay. Um... Start with you. You have double ether gust. All right, affinity time. 
Play everything for free. Um, wait, I need, I need to draw this land. You cost one mana, but then you add one mana. That's free. Wait, wait a minute. Okay, yeah, perfect. Okay, we have enough mana. Where's Tez? What's up, Tez? It's a little unfortunate. I'd like to play the Ugin, but I guess I guess I just don't get to tick up on this other Ugin because I want to play this one. Um, my allies are counting on me. I really need to kill that cavalier. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. Has this has this turn been pretty good? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. That's all I got. All right, your turn. So I could have killed the Cavalier of Gales, but that just lets them scry too. And honestly, I don't want them. I don't want them to be able to scry too. If you, think, if you think that was a turn, wait wait till we have one more turn where we get to actually un, where we get to untap and have all of our mana available and these castles and everything with with every single card like basically all of our cards are free. <laughs> so right now we're zapping for eleven, but we're gonna we're gonna be playing a lot more cards than that with only twenty five in our deck. We're I'm pretty sure we'll be able to zap for twenty. We're like they're definitely dead like with zap and this thing. Why does it didn't, like, get rid of these ether guys somehow? I hope my opponent lets me play it out. I hope they don't concede. Come on, it's game one. You Don't you want to see more of my deck, opponent? Don't concede. Okay. Well, that's a bad start. All right, you're free. So we'll just do 13. 
It's free for 13. We don't really need to do more than that. You cost two. You're free. Um, I don't get to actually draw this card, even though I'd like it. I'll just take up. Oh, I could I could have drawn it with castle. Right. Oh well. Scry you two to the bottom. Where are my artifacts? There we go. So 13, 14, so 15. I think this is free for 15. Okay. Man, we've hit a lot of lands here. Stop. Okay, maybe we don't actually get to play that much stuff. We did we had so many lands. There we go. We have so many of these eggs left. Where are all the eggs? There they are. Yeah, you're free. I only have three lands left. And I had two at the bottom. I don't really need to show them Field of the Dead. <clears throat> Alright, so I guess we don't get to actually... I don't think... We don't get to actually kill them from here for 20. So how much are we doing? Alright, I only did 17. I thought I was going to be able to kill them, honestly. With that. I mean, this thing just kills them, but... I was hoping I could do all 20. But we got... We kind of drew all of our lands. So that was kind of unfortunate. Like, we drew all, the, all of our lands. We didn't hit enough of these eggs. Right. Well, our deck looks pretty good. I don't think we don't need Ritual of Set, so I can just go. That will be replaced by Golos. I'm not sure if I really want any of these other cards. Like I could play Noxious Grass, but we'll just have like Spike Glass. It's probably good enough. I could take out the spy glasses and just put in a couple more of these big cards, like a Citadel and a Meteor Golem, but then my Karn's a lot worse. I'll just go with this. No, no, Corn Lover. Wish Claw is very good. So yeah, no wanting, wanting to play with play Wish Claw with Teferi, nothing wrong with that. Massive board. They have two blockers. I declare one attacker. Yeah, I got to get exact lethal. Wow, so many burgers. Send some over here. Yeah, Pioneer. Pioneer is is really cool. I wish it was on Arena. Yeah, Pioneer is, Pioneer is the format that Historic should have been. <laughs> Thanks, Blind. Yeah, this deck is a lot of fun. Don't always win. It's not the best deck. It's really slow. But once you get set up like we did that last, like that last game, once we get set up, it's just so much fun. Once we get set up. My opponent still hasn't seen Field of the Dead. Sorry, I'm 
late. You're right on time. I've got time. All right, so they already drew a card. I don't need to spy glass immediately. Let's get the Sahili in play. They can make it a creature first. I've got it. Hmm. So if I play Karn, they counter Karn. They probably want to get counters out of their hand before they fire some invention. I'm going to just throw this Spyglass out here and play Field of the Dead. They do not have counters. They have Niv-Mizzet, though. But Niv-Mizzet's not a problem. We have Ugin. So the thing about if we grab Bola Citadel, Bola Citadel, even if you have like Ugin that says your color spells cost two less to cast. Um, so like let's say we have Citadel and Ugin in play, and our our color spells cost two less, and let's say we have you know like a two mana egg. Citadel still says that you have to. Um, you have to, you know, like you cast the card for life equal to the CMC. The CMC doesn't change. So Citadel doesn't help, like, you know, you don't get to play stuff for cheaper with your life total. with Ugin in play. Someone was saying earlier that, that Spyglass is banned in, banned in Brawl because you could just name the commander. Okay, yeah, that's what y'all are saying, too. So, yeah, Spyglass is banned. So, they're not playing Niv-Mizzet. Does that just mean that they have a counter spell here? I don't want them to counter Ugin. Well, that's CMC zero. Technically, if we just play this, we'll just make a... Technically, we'll just be playing a 0-0, zero, zero, and it'll die, so that doesn't make a lot of sense to do that. I could play, you know, so I could play these serpents for two twos from my hand because of Ugin. Um, but I don't think we need to put more into a sweeper. I think we're good there. I wonder how this is going to work with Mystic Forge by casting stuff with Mystic Forge or with Citadel. I wonder how that's going to work. Oh, yeah, sure. I guess I could get an attack with the servo. Um, 
Aw. You saw an adorable puppy on the road today? How am I casting this? Yeah, alternate cost. Wait, no, not alter alternate cost. That didn't work. That cost me two life. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I guess I could have put more counters on stuff. I will not lose another friend. Got 12 minutes. That's probably enough time. Let's see what else they got going on over here. Realm Cloak Giant and Ashiok. Uh, I guess I just, just name Ashiok. So many lands. Truth lies beyond. There's no spells anywhere. So yeah, I had lethal there also. I guess I'm not... So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have to sack these things. So now I'll just let that happen. I could have so I could have ticked up on Karn. I guess I, I wouldn't I didn't know their hand immediately, but I could have ticked up on Karn on the Citadel, attacked them for six with the Citadel. No, I guess I couldn't have attacked them for six with Citadel, because I have to tap that to sack ten permanents. So I could have attacked them for four with this Mystic Forge. If I would have just never activated the Mystic Forge. I can still do that here, though. Like, we'll be able to kill our opponent this next turn pretty easily. Irvin Stroni, thank you so much for the sub, though. Resubbing there for the third month. Yeah, I think... I think it will definitely be possible for Wizards to fully support Historic and Brawl in the future, along with Standard on Arena. Pioneer is a maybe. Um, may, that's a maybe, but I think, I think the other two are, are pretty sure they'll be able to do that. Maybe I did play Mystic Forge the last turn. Oh, well, we'll do... We can do 14 damage here, though. Your agony to me. Yeah, Brawl tomorrow. But I think what they're asking is, like, could be, like, fully supported. So not, like, just a, hey, on Wednesdays you get to play Brawl kind of thing. Gain three life. We need more life for Citadel. A 
Uh, it'll be after an update tomorrow. There'll be an update tomorrow, probably 8 a.m. Pacific time is my guess. Or, you know, like when, whenever there, there's some, there'll be an update tomorrow. And after the update, then you'll be able to play Brawl. And then Field of the Dead will be banned. You know, cracking an egg whenever we have... Um, <clears throat> Whenever we have Citadel isn't ideal. <laughs> Give me back the Sahil. I want more 1 1s. I guess my opponent's not too happy with me. So I'm going to get this back. All right, we're going to be able to pay two mana for this. Whoops. I didn't mean to shock that. Get that out of here. Get that out of here. Why are there all these lands? What's the deal with all these lands? Get that out of here. There we go. Zero. Six life. I'm gonna lower some more cards. Those are all artifacts. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Thirteen for free. Thirteen for free. Does this untap? No, it doesn't untap it. I guess I could have done 14 for free there. This is 15 for free. Um, here, you turn into a uh, Mystic Forge. Do I have your attention now? Yeah, get rid of this thing. Okay. Uh, it puts me down to one. I guess I can't really pay one life. I guess we have to. I guess the roads ran out. We gotta do this. So many lands. You have already lost. Laser time. Bzz, bzz. The gut shot. All right, we're two and one. I'm gonna reset arena also. Cause it's been. Um. It's starting to get slow. <laughs> what a way to go out. Bzz, bzz. Yeah, opponent was really nice to let us sit there and, and see how many cards we could play. My deck just hit so many lands there, as we saw. One, two, three. Let's see, we hit one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we hit like six lands off the top like that. That turn. I can't update the record or anything. We're two and one now, but I can't update the record because my my Streamlabs OBS is messed up. I really hope that it this recording still works for YouTube for later. I really hope so. I 
I know, right? This deck's so much fun. So good. You would think that I'm playing a ton of lands in this deck. I'm, I'm actually only playing 24. Yeah, usually you would think like a deck where we're trying to get to 6 mana and you know, need to hit like our first land drops that we would want like, you know, 25 or 26 lands. But I'm actually only playing 24. <laughs> That's the goal, to have all the games end with Tezzeret zaps. Oh, I should save the Fable Passage for the Mystic Forge. I was thinking of thinning the deck right now, but actually I should just save it. So basically I'm playing this right now because I think it's the best chance. Yay! It's a better chance that... Like, it's less likely that they have a counter spell right now than whenever they have two blue available. And so I want to get Mystic Forge in play. Alright, so another Jeskai Fires deck. They decided to play nothing else after Fires, though. Oh, are they playing something? Nope. All right, so next turn, we have four artifacts now, so we can play Tezzeret and Karn. Next turn. Wow, they're still doing nothing? Hmm. What's up, Karn? Should probably play this to go find Ugin. Yeah, I mean, they could be playing stuff like Elder Spell or something weird like that. That would be a bummer. I don't know what they're doing over here. I mean, maybe they just have all creature removal. You know, like, they're just playing, like, a bunch of... Like, maybe their hand is just a bunch of, like, Clarions and... Um... You show remorse. That's unfortunate. I'll show restraint. Yeah, maybe they have a bunch of Clarions and Time Wipes and things like that. Oh, that's good I'll for me. You. That's very good for me. That they didn't bounce Mystic Forge. My retribution will be swift. All right, well, that wasn't as good. Ooh, 
Hogan. All right, here we go. So four, five, six. So this thing's a six, six. Ah. Just get rid of this island. Some solutions New card. must be built. I will defend my allies. Golden egg. All the cards are free. Yep, they just have sweepers. You're free. Set. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we'll just zap. Don't you see? You have already lost. All right, your turn. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I guess I could have done the double laser. That's true. I I, I forgot. I was thinking that I just had the black black, and I should have grabbed blue. But obviously, these things. Oh, but then once I sack one, then we go back down to nine. So then we only have nine artifacts. But I could I could play the steel overseer here, and make it ten. So yeah, I could have made it lethal. Yeah, I could have killed them. Oh well, we get another turn to do our stuff. <laughs> uh, they, they don't get to wish claw anyway with me having Karn in play. <laughs> yeah, I, I really have not been caring too much about lethal today. I just want to do my stuff. No, they can see dead. Okay. So Ritual of Sit's gone. Golos is in. And then... Uh, this Wishclaw Talisman's been pretty sweet of, like, getting our, our Tezzeret or our Ugin or our Mystic Fort, like, whichever one we need. It's been pretty sweet. Okay, awesome, Ripper. Cool. I'm glad the one Dovin's doing some work for you now. That's good. So yeah, I don't know, like, you know, we don't know too much about their deck. Maybe we want Noctis Grass, maybe we don't. We'll just go with this. Hey, Vitellius, half a year already. Thank you so much there, Vitellius. So yeah, we're currently 2-1 with our deck, but it says 0-1 because I can't, I cannot update. My... Streamlabs OBS is messed up. And I can't update the sub goal. We're at we're at sub goal at 25 now out of 30. Yep, that's you're correct. That's the question here. What does our opponent's sideboard look like? I kind of assumed they took out all their removal spells, which I hope so. I hope they took out their sweepers. Yeah, Golgari the Golgari troll deck is is strong. We've played that deck three or four times now and, and done really well with it every time. And we've played it in Mythic before. We've played it in Ranked. Um, yeah, it's a it's a strong deck. Like, it's just tons of really good good cards in there. 
Oh, the zapping's been great today. <laughs> I'm the only person on Arena still using Golos. I mean, I, I will be even with Field of the Dead band. Like, this deck doesn't need Field of the Dead at all. This isn't a fight you can win. I've got time. I'm certainly playing Chromatic Lantern here. I wonder if... I wonder if they're going to have a Sweeper. I mean, obviously, they, they play... There's a lot of sweepers that my opponent plays. Well, that didn't pan out. Yeah, I don't want them to bounce. But I'm just I'm just wondering if they'll have one of those said sweepers. No, I am not making this up as I go. Those who cannot put thoughtfulness before action. Ugh. We didn't draw the land for me to Ugin and destroy this Fire Zone invention, unfortunately. Imagine this turn, instead of playing Golos, imagine this turn like me, you know, destroying Fires of Invention, killing those, that would have been really nice. So if they want to play Drawn from Dreams, it takes up their turn. And they don't even have the blue mana for it anyway. Cool, Ripper, thanks. Oh, I had, I had a deck tech to do that I never did. That I meant to do after the Golgari deck. From I Am Boots. Oh, Cloak Giant. Now that's just plain rude. I am ancient, am I? My plan. Okay, you're still here? Okay, cool. Then. What know you of dragons? <laughs> Behold! Behold what? No, <laughs> Spyglass. I advise that my grief fuels my mission. 
I don't have the land for Meteor Golem. Well, that's unfortunate. Even if I name name Sarka and they'll be able to Teferi. They'll be able to Teferi bounce it. Then I guess that at least makes them spend all that mana though and not play other things. At least makes them spend three mana. Playing the Ugin here because, like, if I don't, they'll still kill. Huh. Oh. I don't think I can stop that at all. Stand down. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. Consume you. The dragon does not lose. Don't need to draw land. Yeah, I could really use another land here. So Guild Globe has to be mana of different colors, but that, that can start help fixing our mana for the Citadel. We're kind of in trouble. I only hit, this is my last Dugan, and we only have one Tezzeret left. The past, present, keep an open mind.
That's risky. All right, not as risky. Now Clarion doesn't wipe my battlefield. Um, all right, we need this in play. All right, and here we go. So I could pay four life to play that Mystic Forge. I don't think it's really worth it. Let's let's draw it though. Ugh. All right, we'll put you under Ugin. Truth lies beyond vision. Okay. So they have Clarion that could kill these two blockers. And then if they have another removal spell for Golos and get to... Basically, if they get to kill Ugin, I'm in trouble. Uh, Teferi doesn't do anything, though. We have we have Teferi covered with Spyglass. Oh, right. That doesn't even kill Stone Coral Serpent. So they just only killed... Just killed those two. Okay, cool. So we still get to block. I kind of forgot about the Serpent having protection from Clarion, honestly. <laughs> so many things going on. I'm down to just 21 cards. Alright, this is zero. Finding all of our lands. There's Tezzy. So Tez puts me down to two. But then back up to three because of the beacon. Could also minus Tez and get something back. I can only grab artifacts back. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be taking up. Um as genius does. Don't know if we get to kill our opponent or not. It's looking like we're going to be able to kill our opponent. 
How many artifacts we got? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. We have eighteen artifacts. Yeah, they're dead. So we're gonna play this for twenty. We're gonna play this one for twenty-one. Yeah, we'll just tap out. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. All right, we get a zap. Put them down to seven. This is just the beginning. Uh, we'll get rid of some of these things. And boom. Affinity is a powerful mechanic. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. I don't know how much mana we spent there that turn. But that was a lot. <laughs> we just just play through our whole deck. Just that's all of it. The whole deck. <laughs> uh the claw. Just drain for twenty. Cause then it was like it's like, oh you have twenty more life. You wanna start playing more things for free, and we're like, no, nah, that's that's fine. <laughs> oh, this is awesome! All right, three and one. Record is three and one now. I I really hope that that Streamlabs OBS doesn't mess up this recording. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. There should be a card that exiles all lands left in your library. There, I mean, there kind of is. Like, Nissa Ult is kind of that, right? All right, us being on the draw, this is probably too slow. If our opponent's playing any kind of fast deck, maybe they're playing a slow deck, though. Just keeping, like, turn five Golas, basically. Maybe they're playing something slow. <laughs> the claw. <laughs> See, they're playing a slow deck. We're good. <laughs> I saw Matthew. That's pretty good. The claw from Toy Story. Grixis. Look at how perfect our hand is turning out to be. What a good keep. Yee, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I take it all back. I take it all back. Hey, what's up, Paul? Alright, Agent of Treachery is definitely my downfall. I have nothing for Agent of Treachery. I have nothing for the graveyard. You will not block our noble path. Yeah, if I if I expect to play against Reanimator, then yeah, Graft Digger's Cage would be good. But the thing is, is we we play tons of spells off the top of our library, so Graft Digger's Cage kind of kills our deck. One. And then two. No, nobody really plays this Until kind of stuff, except for my opponent. Soon, I will rid you of your corruption. Yeah, you can definitely play this after Field of the Dead Band. Field of the Dead is not a very important part of this deck at all. Rude. I just didn't change the mana base and everything with, with Field still being legal for today. Hey, what's up, Paul? Dead 
They took my spyglass. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. Send him out. Seems a little odd to take the spyglass, but then let me keep Karn that could grab another spyglass. I don't want to click my turn yet. My purpose is greater than myself. Cauldron of Eternity. That's cool. So I can't let them steal Ugin. Which is really the heart, the difficult thing. Also, we've drawn all these basics. I only have one more basic to fetch with Fable Passage, I think. I think I just have four and two for basics. Oh, that's gross. So now I have to play Ugin. Otherwise, they take it, Ugin. Oh, they're just going to Agent of Treachery now? Okay, you're just in the way. I can't see the screen. Of course, we don't get to activate abilities of artifacts with Karn in play. <sighs> oh, say hello to my little friend. Cool. Understand yourself. Ugin, pretty strong. All right, so yeah, I don't really have anything to do here against Agent of Treachery. Agent of Treachery is just gonna kind of wreck me. Yep, not too much to do there. Play the God Pharaoh statue to try to make it harder for them to get it in play, I guess. I need to play one of these in the main. I guess it's it's probably just the third Golos again. Yeah, it's not banned on Arena until tomorrow. They had to, you know, update it and everything. Hawkeye. He's like, this deck is cool. And getting pet is cool.
I don't I don't know. I don't know what this deck can really do against Age of Treachery, honestly. I think that that's just a card that just just kind of destroys this. Yeah, this list feels better, Project Snipe. Um, yeah, this this list feels better, more you know, better than the previous Demir Affinity decks that we've been playing. I like the updates that we have. The Karns have been awesome. Um, and yeah, you know, main deck Spyglass has been good. More interaction with like Noxious Grass from the sideboard and stuff. Yeah, this this has felt better. Yeah, honestly, this could this could be a, a thing in Historic. Yeah, you get Mox Amber, Psy. You get some cards. Get better... A better sideboard for Karn, for sure. Stone Coil... Yeah. I would, I would craft Stone Coil. Project Snipe. Stone Coil is more important than Spyglass. Um... All right, well, that didn't work out too well. But yeah, Stone Coil is really vital of being early defense and stuff. Ooh, treasure map. Treasure map's pretty busted. Yeah, like our, our deck could play a lot of different colors also. I'm I'm kind of being really conservative with like the two colors. We could definitely play lots of other colors too. And so like we could just be playing Veil of Summer against Agent of Treachery. And just other stuff like Elder Spell and things like that. Thought Erasure. I'm going to be playing the two Steel Overseers this turn. Uh, yeah, pretty pretty bad against Oko. We got main deck Spyglass, so that's cool. But yeah, Oko is just amazing. If you try to, if you try to play creatures or artifacts, you're bad against Oko. That's how it is. This is gonna hurt. Good, at least no agent of treachery. Yet. Stone Coral Serpent. I gotta hope they don't find Agent of Treachery.
kind of a bad sign for me. What the heck is that thing? Maybe I should have just blocked the Tomebound Lich also. Probably should have. I should have blocked that Tone Bound Lich last turn. Okay, game three. Still looks like a rough matchup for us. Nothing's changed there. It's possible they sideboarded out Royal Scions. Is that possible? They sideboarded out Royal Scions? Feels kind of possible. I hope so. Hope we got this. I don't really stop Agent and Treachery and Ilharg and stuff like that. But since I took out all the Ashiox from the sideboard, this matchup used to be good when I had four Ashiox, <laughs> but I just took them out. No. No, protection just prevents damage and keeps it from being targeted and stuff like that, but a card like Time Wipe doesn't doesn't deal damage. Like Clarion, Deafening Clarion deals damage, so it prevents the damage from Deafening Clarion. All the tap lands. Tap, tap, tap. Do, 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 do. Tap, tap, tap. Do, 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 do. Never casting stuff. Because all of our lands are tapped. I'm going to be so sad if this recording doesn't actually save over on YouTube. If, like, the, if the file's messed up on my computer because the Streamlabs messed up. Yeah, it says 01 over here still, but again, we're currently 3 and 1. Dismal Backwater. But OBS is still saying my stream recording session is still running. 
click OK to end it. This is a good good time to mention my Patreon, new Patreon. Um, just started last week. It's three dollars a month. There's not different levels. It's just three dollars for everybody. So if you like my stream and want to help support my content, please please consider uh, joining our Patreon community for just three bucks a month. You know, like the same. You know, like that's just like a you know a tip at dinner for once a month. Not even you know like the price of dinner, just the price of the tip. Kind of thing so just three bucks a month there i do written i'm gonna be doing written content over there be doing like like blog post type stuff um and about two two or three times a week we'll be putting written, written content over there especially during like spoiler season i'll be that's what i'll be talking about like all like this this cards during spoiler season everything there and also sideboard guides Putting those over there as well. So we got 40 Patreons so far. Unless, were there some during the stream that anybody joined? Hey, we got one person joined during the stream today. 41. A great number. That's just, that's just awesome. Dirk Nowitzki's number 41 on Mavs opening day, Hawkeye. Isn't that exciting? Hawkeye's excited. <clears throat> yeah, a, an equipment or enchantment does not fall off um with protection like let's say let's say you i have the steel overseer and i equip it with something and then i give the steel overseer protection from the color of the equipment we've or enchantment it doesn't fall off if it's already enchanted is to however if you have if it has the protection from that color and then you try to enchantment you can't target it the Nata Man getting this uh thank you so much there, Paul. Santa Paul. So we have That's gift that's sub number twenty six on the day. I'm behind here on the sub count, but I can't update that either. Sub number twenty six. So this is what Golos does. It helps us get that extra land to get to Ugin. I'm thinking either Black Castle, Mobilize District. Could just grab Field of the Dead. Two, three, four, five. It'd be land number five for Field. We'll just do that. They got Dracuseth over here? What the heck? How am I supposed to beat Dracuseth? How am I supposed to beat any of these cards? No, my Ugin. Ugh, I should have grabbed Black Castle. I didn't know I wasn't playing Ugin this next turn. Third Thought Erasure. Hmm. Well, I need an extra, I need a land drop here to activate Golos, which we could have done because of these, these things. Gross. Uh, 
I don't know if there's much reason to play this other overseer here. They're just gonna bring back Dracuseth. We get to do four, then three, then three. Doesn't seem like there's much of a point to do that. There's not really any reason to keep it in my hand either, though. Because <clears throat> they're going to do the four to me, the three to the overseer, the three to the other overseer. I mean, I might as well be in my hand instead of my graveyard. All right, cracking that right now so the Drakis has not a two-turn clock. But come on, land. Darn. Okay. I can kill Drakis next turn. Uh, we don't have too much removal. We got a little bit, though. Yeah, Ugin's kind of our removal spell. So we're good here as long as they don't have another reanimate spell. Or... As long as they don't have another Bond Revival. Yes. As long as they don't have Bond Revival or anything really good to put in with U with Ilhard. So please don't have something cool to put in with Ilhard. They didn't play a land last turn. So that's kind of bad for me. Probably. Yeah, basically, I would just change. I would, cha I would change the mana base up a lot, a lot without Field of the Dead. I'd you you can make it a whole lot more basic, like more basic lands and things like that. Just put in a, a one three. Oh come on! Boo! Boo. Dracuseth want me dead. Exactly, though. All right, so we went three and two. This deck's just a lot of fun to play, but yeah, Agent of Treachery. And Dracuseth and Ilharg. Those are cards that I don't deal with too well, that's for sure. Our deck could still use better removal. So basically, um, yeah, so as we talked about, so Field of the Dead is leaving. So I think this this mana base can just change up. We don't need like all these one of lands and all this kind of stuff. We can play a lot more basics. And and honestly, probably moving into another color would make this deck the strongest because it's it's really easy for us to play another color like I, I'm barely playing blue and I'm barely playing black like right now basically I just have like Tezzeret you know like I, you know like we barely have so like we can we can easily play more colors I think I think just playing white like we should probably be playing Kaya's Wrath honestly like this should probably be a Kaya's Wrath deck um yeah like that's the thing like Kaya's Wrath so much better than Ritual Set so we should probably be playing those um, try green with Oko. You tried it. It's really good. Okay. I could see that with Oko making food tokens and then you have extra artifacts with food tokens. Then, and then Oko, I guess Oko just turns these golded, these things into three threes also. 
Oh, and then you exchange with the minus five. Yeah, I mean, Oko's just busted. Yeah, okay. So instead of Emery, Sahili, Chromatic Lantern, we just play a bunch of Okos. I could see doing that. Well, of course, we wouldn't... Well, we could play Ritual Sit still. Kaiserath is anti-synergy with your win con? How? My my win con is is Tezzeret. Tezzeret, Ugin, Mystic Forge. Like these these are like the, the main win conditions. But yeah, we should probably be playing Sultai, play Oko. And then you get Vale of Summer to stop. Yeah, Vale of Summer just does a whole lot for you also. Vale of Summer is just so good. Alright, we'll have to we'll have to turn this Oko. Yeah, we'll have to turn this into Sultai. Oko everywhere. It it means that we're worse against Oko though by playing Oko, because then we, we don't get to spyglass Oko. But that's okay. Yeah, Glass Casket, that's what, whenever we played it, we played it Esper before for the, um, because we, because I had a challenge to build a deck around Alayla. And so I, I tried it with Esper with Kaya's Wrath and Alayla in Glass Casket, and the Glass Casket, Casket was really disappointing. I was, I thought Glass Casket was going to be awesome, and it wasn't. My opponents were just playing like four mana creatures, and I was sad. Yeah, so we could take out Spyglass for more Okos. Um, but. All right, so Demir, Affinity, Forge, really cool deck. Tezzeret, Master of the Bridge is really cool. Mystic Forge is really cool. Fun deck to play, for sure. Really fun deck here. Um, if you're watching the video later on YouTube, I hope you hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And also comment. Let me know what you think about going Sultai, playing some Okos in the deck. And how you think that would that would go and everything like that. And what do you think of like this newer version with Karn the Great Creator and Spyglass main deck? Um, how'd you like those cards? Um, and uh, last but not least, I hope y'all, uh, especially you know y'all over on YouTube also, hope you you guys check out the Patreon page as we were talking about a little while ago. Three dollars a month um, for my written content over there, but it's also just. Just helping support these videos here. Um, you know, I hope you hope you uh, consider going over there and joining our Patreon community and checking out that page. The link is down below in the info panel um, if you're watching on YouTube. But it's also just patreon.com slash Todd Stevens MTG. All right, that's Demir Affinity Forge. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video. Okay, let's hope this hope ending this thing works.